Notre Dame goes up to Chicago and puts a molly whopping. I, I, I need it. I need it, Gary. I I know this is insane. I needed this hit. I needed this hit. I wasn't doing good in my pick. I had, and that, this wasn't even like an official play of mine or whatever. I had I had a I had a couple of money line parlays working, and and I had Notre Dame tied to almost all of them because I thought yesterday they were going to win this game. Yes, and it wasn't I Jack Cohn that one. got it done for him. It was it was their the defense. defense. And they everybody, it, they had been talking about how uh, this is not a typical Notre Dame defense and blah, 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 and all that. I, I'm with you. I Brian Kelly, by the way, is now the all-time winningest coach in Notre Dame history. That is Unbelievable. awesome. With, with the history that's been at that school, the men that have ran that program over the centuries, decades, whatever, he, he for his name to be that, I think it's special. It he, is. I don't think he's ever leaving until he's ready to retire. Now that he's that, I just believe he's never going to leave that. Oh, he's he's going to pad them stats is what he's going to do. He's going to keep. Well, yeah, he's he's going to set the number so big (laughs) that nobody will ever catch it before he retires. I I like this team. I don't know why. I just woke up yesterday thinking this line is wrong. I know this defense has had problems and they've had problems against the run, which Wisconsin does. I just believed was something's wrong with Wisconsin's offense. I think Notre Dame's defense is going to look great. I took the under in this game. I took Notre Dame big, 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 big on all my money line parlays for dogs. And so you you lost that under on that last. No, no, no. I lost. Yeah. I, I, I was willing to lose. I did not yeah. care about the under anymore. <laughs> Once I knew the game was out of hand and I was winning the game, I could have thrown every other bet away because I'd already won uh, one other leg of the money line and for for a couple. So I was fine. I was I was sitting pretty. It's. I just – here's what I think about Wisconsin. So let's talk about them for a minute. Okay. My thought watching this game was if Wisconsin gets out in front of anybody, I think their defense is good enough, their run game is good enough, that they can suffocate you, grind the game out, and they're really hard to beat. But if they get down, it's over. If they are trailing in the fourth quarter, Graham Mertz will make – so there are some quarterbacks that always seem to make the play to bring their team back. There are other quarterbacks that every time they have a chance to make the play, they screw it up. I, I just think Graham Mertz, if he's behind and he's pressured and he's trying to force a play, he can't do it. He's going to turn the ball over. You're going to have extra possessions at the end of the game that you weren't counting on. Wisconsin, here, I'll, I'll give you a good stat for that. Wisconsin had six scoring opportunities, which is times that they got into the 40-yard line, inside yeah. the 40. Within, within field goal range, basically. Yeah, they, they scored six points. It was one point per scoring opportunity. That is Not good. putrid. It just a, a, as bad as you could possibly get. So, right, so I've got a so I've got a question. Okay, is this a is this just a Graham Merch problem, or is this a Paul Chris problem? It might be a Paul Chris problem. Look, here's here's one of the biggest issues: third downs. They went one for fourteen on third down. One for fourteen. This offensive. There was a day when we were in high school, and I worshipped this football team. It was the only Big Ten team I cared about because this offensive line was known across the country for being bulldogs, okay? Yeah. Com- complete monsters in the middle. And now they can't get a push to get a third and one. It's it's bad. It's, it's almost as bad as you can get. Notre Dame, by the way, uh, tried several times to give them opportunities. 11 penalties for 93 yards here. Oh, no. Yeah, Notre Dame did yeah. not play a clean game. No, Notre, Notre Dame is now their defense bailed them out at the end. Didn't even make it close, yes. which I was. Oh god! I, looked, After the first pick six, I was I was fine. I was resting easy. I was relaxed. I was enjoying my afternoon. It was great, but not as bad as Oklahoma. But this Notre Dame team is is making mistakes a lot, but they're still getting by with wins. And I guess that's what that's all you can ask for as a coach, right? Like. Every week I get to go in and coach my guys up hard because we're not playing well. Yeah. But we're still getting wins, and that's always a better thing than playing like shit and getting losses. Yes. yes you just 100%. feel like at some point in time you're gonna you're gonna hold on to the firecracker too long. Yes. And then you're gonna blow your hand off. I agree. Uh in this game, so it was thirteen to ten Wisconsin. They kicked a field goal yeah. with fourteen minutes and fourteen seconds left in the fourth quarter. Uh anybody that was holding a big under ticket on this. Could have never seen this coming because you get oh. a 96-yard kickoff return 
You get a uh, 16-yard touchdown from Drew Pine. You get another field goal about six minutes later. With 320 left, you have a total of 40 points in this game. And you're perfect. And, and you get four, and then 14 points from pick sixes. <laughs> you get two pick sixes with less than uh, two and a half minutes left in the ball game, uh, which which made the score like it was not a 41 to 13 game. This was oh, a much closer oh, game no. than that. No, no, but, no, 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 no. That that's this. Yeah, no, not just, even close. Just um, unreal. unreal, unreal, unreal. So, cheers to Brian Kelly. I mean, knocking I this thing it. out. And I'll I tell needed, you this: I needed that game like I needed oxygen to breathe. Game day. I don't think game day has announced where they're going yet because Notre Dame winning in the fashion that they did makes this like Notre Dame and Cincinnati is going to be a monster game now. I understand Absolutely that. Monster. There's zero chance they're going there, Gary. You keep doing this. It's not happening. Let me. Hey, I do want to bring something up. All right. Now, I love the city of Chicago. There, there are two great cities in this country that I try to spend a lot of my time in. It's Boston and Chicago. Fall and summer in those two cities second to nowhere else in the world for me, all right? Okay. You have Notre Dame, one of the greatest home atmospheres on the planet. You have, you have Madison, Wisconsin, Camp Randall, one of the greatest college football experiences of the country. Why are, why are we doing a neutral site field? Have these gentlemen play a home and home somewhere so we can get Camp Randall and we can get touchdown Jesus? So like, this, I'm not trying to be a stick in the mud, but damn, if you're going to take a, if you're going to play a neutral site game, d- do it with Missouri because that ain't home field. Okay. This Nobody is, gives a shit about that. I, I agree with you, but this is something that Notre Dame has set up. It's like the Shamrock series or whatever. I know where they're doing they're, it all over the place. So that they can recruit national. for recruiting. Yeah. But hang on when they want to play in, in Yankee Stadium or Fenway and they want to play Navy, that's fine because nobody cares about going to Navy. All right. Agreed. While it's a beautiful, beautiful camp, nobody cares. Okay. Camp Randall people care about. All right. Yeah. Notre Dame. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.